Hi, welcome to my channel Quick View Enthusiast. I'm Abhishek, a Quick View Learner, and today I will share my learning about one of the very interesting Quick View object, input box. You can consider this input box as a a very advanced uh, component in Quick View because based on the value that you enter into the input box, uh, you can relate that value with any of the chart list box or any other component and based on that value you perform some action into into any of the chart or any of the component so let's see what action you can do so for example in this chart you are seeing jan feb march april and may data uh, but suppose uh, you want to give a flexibility to the end user that you want to see only the first three months then you can uh, do that arrangement with the help of uh, input box or if you want to completely hide or unhide uh, this chart based on a condition you can do that with the help of uh, input box and similar thing you can perform over here you know hiding the filters or uh, hiding the objects uh, based on the value that you are providing into the input box so let's see uh, how we create an input box and how we can do an arrangement uh, to achieve uh, what we just discussed so to create an input box you need to right click on this new sheet object and uh, input box so input box uh, input box can be based on the variables only and in this video I will cover how you can create the variables also because this is the requirement for input box so before creating this uh, input box let's create a variable because based on that variable only we will be creating the input box so I will click on cap close and to create a variable you need to go in settings and you have a variable overview window and you see that uh, control alt v is also the shortcut for creating the variable so when you click this this variable value overview window will appear to you where all of the variables are present that we have created uh, so far so let's create a new variable say add show month or say months okay and uh, it will be appearing in the end and let's say we want to show three months three first months okay so now we go again into the new sheet object and uh, click on the input box and we should have our show months variable click on add so as we go into the settings for creating the new variable you also have the option of creating a new variable from here only you click on this and you can create the variable but as we have already created so we will use this show months and once you have this show month in displayed variables uh, you can change it labels so suppose you want to have space between show and months click on OK with the settings that we have done so you see this uh, this is a very simple uh, input box where it is saying show months is equals to 3 so you see that you can change the value four or six whatever it may be and now comes the important part that you want to perform an action based on the value that you are entering so for that we need to make some arrangement into the chart so for example our objective is to show some months based on the value that we are entering so for example if we are entering three uh, it should show Jan, Feb and March if we are entering 4 then Jan, Feb, March and April so let's see this for that we will right click on the chart 
say properties so this tab is already selected for us but uh, if it is not selected and some other tab is currently selected that you can come back over dimension limits where we will specify uh, the arrangement for this variable show months so we want to limit the dimensions the month dimension that is currently available in this chart so we will say restrict which values are displayed using the first expression so we say uh, show only first we have other options also largest smallest but we will continue with first so we will say first two values so if we specify two this is a hard coded value and we click on apply you see that only Jan and Feb is coming but we don't need a hard coded value we want that as soon as we enter the value over here the chart should reflect over here with the value we entered so for that we click on this uh, ellipsis remove this by hand entering backspace we go into variable tab and show months on paste and it is a click OK so this is equals to show months we hit on apply OK so if we are changing the value now here say 2 and enter you see that it is only changing Jan or Fab so this is very dynamic in nature and you have the flexibility to closely do an analysis based on the months you want to see so six we want to see till April we enter 4 and enter so my chart is now updated with Jan, Feb, March and April right cool isn't it so let's see uh, one other example of uh, input box say uh, we want to conditionally show these filters year or month uh, in our dashboard so for that let's create a variable again by going into the shortcut control alt v we click on this uh, add button say v time so we just indicate that it's a variable and by default we will say year and ok and uh, let's create a the input box so let's give a title show times any other title which is relevant to you so I just enter what just come into my mind and uh, our variable is this V time click on add it is displayed here click on this and say year or month show year or month say okay so just drag a little bit so caption is show times I just double clicked and it is hidden now so show year or month and the value is equals to no value is mentioned so we can have it either year or month but as you see uh, we are changing these values but nothing is happening into our year or month filters so let's set the variable in this list boxes so that uh, they will appear only when we are changing the value into this uh, list input box so let's right click on this go into properties and in the layout we have a conditional 
option under the show so when we enable this conditional it will open this and uh, we say our variable which is v time v time paste and uh, we will give its value as year so we are specifying that uh, whenever the value changes in this input box for year it should be displayed otherwise it should always be hidden so let's click on apply okay so as you click on okay you see that it is not displayed because the value that is currently present over here is month so let's change the value to year and now you see that it is appearing again right so this is how you can uh, conditionally display or hide the objects by using the input box and this can be really useful in scenarios you know where uh, you just don't want to show each and everything to the end user but you want to give a flexibility to the end user that what are the values or what are the objects that they want to see uh, in their dashboard right and one other important thing to mention here is that this is case sensitive the value that you enter so for example if we enter year in and all the character in a small case then it will not be displayed so just keep this thing in mind that uh, it is case sensitive so now y is in capital and rest other are in small and the value is displayed so go ahead and do a similar arrangement for month and uh, figure out whether you can hide this month uh, you know filter over here and uh, that will give you uh, a good idea when you do a hands-on on your own so this is not the end I would say uh, for the flexibility that we can achieve with the input box there are so many other things uh, that we can do uh, with the input box like uh, conditionally changing the captions or uh, you know changing how chart is appearing or you know hi displaying hiding some things you know everything uh, that has an expression attached to it can be affected by the input box and the value that we are entering into the input box so go ahead and explore this and uh, I will meet you in the next video with a new object till then bye bye